going to be showing you guys how to track out your vocals so that you can send them out to be mixed, mastered, or used for, you know, someone's el someone else's song. Um, this is definitely for the people that may not have a MacBook and also for people who may be sending them to people who don't have Logic or GarageBand. So this is just the way. Okay, so here... I have some vocals that I recorded, and these are the vocals I'm going to be sending off. I look in your eyes, and I smile back. All right, don't judge my singing. But these are um, vocals that each need to be sent out individually to be um, mixed and edited. But the thing is... GarageBand for iPhone uh, really doesn't allow you to track them out or bounce them each individually. I've definitely tried um, to see you did it. So when you can't do one thing the traditional way, you have to get creative. And here I am. So what I'm going to tell you to do is to label each one of the tracks. So these are just different harmonies. So I'm going to label them. High, low, mid, lead. Okay, so the first one is going to be our lead vocal. So I'm going to hold that down. Click it once. And I'm going to push rename. And put that lead vocal. I could have just kept the title, honestly. But for tutorial purposes, all right, I'm going to go to the second one. So what we're going to do is we're going to make them all separate projects and then make them into audio files. So I'm going to go here, my song. because it's going to be the lead when we go send out first. All right. And then click that, and you're going to go to duplicate. I'm going to do it again. Duplicate. Do it again. Duplicate. So we should have four of the same project. All right. So we got our lead. Now what we're going to do is go into our lead one, and we're going to delete. 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 Okay, it's our lead one. And then we're going to go to this one. Sorry. Low harmony. And we're going to go into it. And we're going to delete all the one that's not the low harmony. So we're going to tap it. Delete. Don't delete this one. Delete. Delete. Okay, we're going to go to my songs. And we're going to go here. Rename it. This is going to be our mid harmony. And we're going to go into there. And we're going to delete all the one that's not the mid. So delete, delete, delete my songs. And then we're going to go here, and this is going to be our high harmony. Delete. 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 My 
Hot Songs. And then we're going to just rename that. Hi, Harmony. Alrighty, so now that we did that, now we can start sending each of them. So I'm going to start with our first one. It's our Harmony, our High Harmony. I'm going to go to Share. And I'm going to share it as a song. Now, I'm sending it in the highest quality. It's the default one. But you can send it as a wave if your engineer wants it as a wave. Actually, I'm going to send it as a wave, a compressed wave. Let's see, share. Okay, so I'm sending it as a waveform, and I'm going to send it to myself. Are you going to do the same thing with this one? If you hold it down, it'll bring these options up. Share it. Song. Uncompressed wave. Share. This is going to pop up. Click Gmail. Hold this down. So I look at my email and I see all four of them, right? So I go to this first one. It's the lead one. So I go. I, I look in your. All right. So if I go up here and I click this arrow. And I go to save to files. Or I could even save them on my desktop. Like if I was a producer engineer, I would, yeah, I would save them to my desktop. So they'll be there. So. I close drive. Head. Hi, look in your. Say files. I close drive. Desktop. I just put an I close drive period. It'd be on my desktop. All right. Um. <laughs> Low key, my song a little catchy. Hi. All right. I done made a hit song for y'all. Okay. Hi. Look in your eyes. And I Don't judge my singing. I had to cut that off quick. All right, add, boom. And then they'll be saved to the files on your phone or the person you sent to them, they can save them to their phone. That's most likely what they would do. Um, I do mix people's vocals, so that would be the best way for them to send it to me. And then boom. You see, I got them in my, I got each of the tracks individually. All right, so that's the best way. And I'm gonna go to the computer now to show you guys some things, how it will work for them. 
So I am in my email and I'm going to be showing you what the producer or engineer will do. All right, so I'm going to go here. And you should probably put a subject. I didn't put a subject. All right, so I'm going to download the lead. So this is it right there when you hover over it, lead. I'm going to download the low. I'm going to download the mid harmony. And I'm going to download the high harmony. Download. And I'm going to go I am. So here I am. I've downloaded all of the sounds. All of these four. I'm going to push new folder and call it Look Into Your Eyes Track Out. All right. All right, and then boom. All right, and it doubled over some reason. So I'm just gonna delete the extra ones. All right, then boom, there you have it. I look in your eyes and I... And then I can mix them if I wanted to. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Smile back. I need some. Cause you are the reason for my happiness. Oh, yes, it's true. I love you. Cause you are the reason for my happiness. Hmm. Yes, sure. Alright, so, boom, there you have it. Um,. That's the best way I can tell you to do it. Uh, this part, last part, was definitely for uh, the producers who um, need to know how, you know, artists would send them from there and how they should uh, or how they can receive audio files from a guitar, I mean, from a garage band project and how they would make it work. This is a way. Um, the easier way you could have just sent them, you know, the guitar, I mean, the garage band project.